Greetings, my name is Joseph R. Wheeler III, and I am the artist, founder, and president of the event known to the world as OnyxCon. OnyxCon celebrates diversity with a focus on the impact, contributions, and presence of the African diaspora in realms of imagination. Today, I'm very proud to have an exclusive interview with a good friend of OnyxCon. He is a stunt professional whose credits are wide and strong, especially in the genres that we love of superhero films, such as Thor 2. You'll see him soon in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. But most notable and of incredible importance is to salute his efforts as a stunt professional in the film Captain America Civil War, where he had principal stunts as the Black Panther. Ladies and gentlemen, and the world, very proud today on behalf of Honest Khan to introduce you to Guy De Silva. That was pretty big, that was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do nothing to light, baby. That's how, are how you? we do it. I'm great, brother. Good, good. Yes, sir. So, how you been, man? Good, very good. Tired. Tired. Good. That's the work. Yeah, you know. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, all right. Of course, we're going to get into Civil War and all that, but I want to start from the ground floor up. Cool. Tell everybody who you are, about your roots. I mean, you representing already. I see you rocking Brazil today. I have to. So I is that to. home? That is where I was born. Word. But home, I would say, is New York. Okay. Yeah. All right. All uh, right. I moved to New York when I was about three, and I was raised there, and that's okay. where most of my upbringing and a lot of my uh, attributes and my mm. my love for things start to grow, I guess. Oh, yeah, I mean, you, you a New Yorker. I mean, like, what? I'm New York to the what, fullest. What borough are we talking about here, uh, son? Well, Manhattan. I'm from Harlem. Oh, Manhattan. Okay. Yeah, from, yeah, Harlem, yeah. from Harlem world. Yeah, okay, definitely. All right. Yeah, I know a little bit about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit? A <laughs> little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm from Atlanta and everything, but I had we're a first East Coast year. kids. Yeah, you know. you know. So now, what in your life, growing up in Harlem, was the first exposure to something that made you want to become what you are now as a stunt guy? Um, it's it it starts way 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 back. Okay. Uh, the story is that when jumped I was, out of mom. I'm going. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> That's what my dad tells everybody. Right. No, but the story is that uh, my dad had a trophy room. Um, that I used to sit around there when I was like one and two years old, and he walked in one day and saw me Im trying to imitate the the statue mm. that he had, like a Taekwondo trophy. Oh, okay. And so your dad was a martial artist. My dad was a martial artist. He was Air the Air Force. Force. That's why I was right. able to go from Brazil to New York so quickly. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah. So he saw that, and ever since then, it's been like that's what you're gonna do, mm. you know, and. Honestly, it's I think it's what I always wanted to do. Showing mm. he showed me Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. My first Bruce Lee film was uh, The Way of the Dragon, where Good he fights Chuck. So mm -hmm. I was just like, uh. right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just grew from there, and that's how I slowly became. It wasn't the idea of becoming a stuntman. Mm -hmm. It was the idea of becoming Bruce Lee or being Jackie Chan, like that little mm -hmm. kid that everybody mm -hmm. goes crazy about and imitating. That was me. That was your, okay. Yeah, we. My dad used to uh, make um, from the little hangers uh -huh. that have the little white. Cushion. Okay. Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? right. Uh -huh. He would break it in half and then uh -huh. he would put shoelace in it and make like little nunchucks for me. <laughs> like, there's there's probably some really crazy, uh, embarrassing pictures of me. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I've been a ninja my whole so life. So that's how you do it, kids. Get you one of those hangers. You know. Yep, and mm -hmm. yep, make yourself some nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right, okay. So that's how I, that's how I can say it was like the beginning of my journey nice. in martial arts going into film. Cool, cool. Yeah. So, what styles did you study as a youth? Uh, I did Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. um, I was almost Olympic level. I got, I blew my knee out uh, while mm. training, and wow. that kind of does like, that still bother you? Because you know those kind of injuries. It, sometimes. It, it's still there. It's mm -hmm. it's still like in my head. I I believe it's in my head. My body, I think, is healed. It's been a long time since oh, that's then. That's beautiful. Okay. And right. um, yeah, so that's that little hiccup mm -hmm. that little obstacle mm -hmm. is kind of what set me on the course yeah. to doing pretend fighting okay <laughs> i was okay. like all right cool so i now so just you don't were get hit no actually more. in the competitions leading to the Olympics. yes and then the neat thing and then you just said well you know what i'm gonna focus on yep exactly okay. so and how did how did you jump into that i mean um with, meeting people okay uh it's actually funny because how old were you when you I was 16, 17 when I got okay. injured. Okay. Um, I was actually living here at the mm -hmm. time. I was back and forth between here and Colorado mm -hmm. uh, training. And when you say here, you mean? Atlanta. Oh, 
first. So yeah. I'm saying, okay. You know I went to May's high school for a year. Wait a minute, you did what, brother? I went to May. Oh, we finna get wild on camera, honey. <laughs> but what? <laughs> May's high fam? Seriously? Dude, yep. I'm class of 93. Oh, wow. Blue and gold Raider all day. That's awesome. Oh, you a Raider. Be, you, you a brother for real now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's yeah. up. I definitely... Oh, dude. Yo, yo. Yo, Atlanta credit just went through the roof. You know that, right? That's tight. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Dang, man. Went to Maze for a year. What year was that? Uh, that was 2005, 2006. Okay, so I ain't going to give away my age on cam so much, but, you know, he a youngster to me, but, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, what's yeah. up. That's, <laughs> that's cool, man. It went was to fun. Maze, right? That's what's up. Okay, so you were back and forth between, you were saying? Uh, Atlanta and Colorado. Okay. Training. Okay. Um, at the time as well, like growing up, I was living with my mom. She's a, you know, single parent. Okay. And I made the move here, and my dad took care of me, and he said, you know, stuff, whatever. Mm -hmm. But he had asked me uh, if I wanted to get into film. My mom had always been like, take acting lessons, take acting lessons. So I did, mm. like, stuff in school, high school, you know, like the little right. class plays. I played yeah. the king and the king and I. I was feeling myself. You know, I used to do the thing, like, because back then it was, like, when The Rock was prominent right. in WWE. Right. And he's so, still he's oh, he's, I mean, yeah, he's he can do 20 legend. movies for 20 years. And still That's come probably back one of the only people I'll fanboy over. Right, absolutely, same here. Which I, mean, I think is know. fair. Yeah. Um, but I would do the whole thing where I go, etc., etc., etc. And doing that at the age of six years right. old is pretty funny. Oh, he was you know? it. I bet my parents loved yeah. it. Um, so I was like, no, I'm I, very stubborn, very, very stubborn. I'm going to do martial arts. That's what I'm going to do. Don't right. tell me to do anything right. else. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, and then man. that the, the injury happened, and then yeah. I moved back to New York with my mom. Okay. And uh, that's where I met people that did parkour. Oh, yeah. And then that introduced me to people that do martial arts tricking. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then that's how I Ex found. Explain that to people. Explain both. I mean, I know yeah. what both are. It's funny. I didn't know about tricking until I met Aaron Tony. And well, props to Aaron. Yes, uh, big props to the big You know girl. what I'm saying? But, you know, I didn't really know that word, but I did know about parkour. Because mm -hmm. really what introduced me to that was that, uh, one of those James Brown, James Bond films. Yes, Casino Royale. That brother. Man, that yes. one scene is, that's that the whole opening movie. scene, yeah. Oh, that's, my gosh. You know, yeah. <laughs> it was like, what is this? What is he doing? And then I find out about the guy who um, labeled his free running. Yes. You know, and was, what's his name? Um, um, I can't remember yeah. his name right now. Credit to you. You know who you are. Yes. Yes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and so that was just awesome, man, that, that whole world. So, yeah, explain that to people who don't understand. What um, is. Parkour is the art of movement. Mm -hmm. um, it's the idea of getting from point A to point B the most efficient and creative way possible. Mm. And then martial arts tricking is a hybrid collaboration of movements from break dancing to many different styles of martial arts and gymnastics. Mm. And it's a free-form expression just like parkour. Nice. So I was able to express myself without having to hit anybody. Right, right, right. And that was fun. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of where it all started to, things started to come together. Mm. And um, at the time, a friend of mine came into a gym. Mm -hmm. He wanted to shoot a fight scene, and the person that he was supposed to shoot a fight scene with for fun mm. didn't show up. And he was like, hey, you want to come shoot a fight scene? I was like, uh, sure. Mm. I can throw some kicks at you, throw some punches. Yeah, right. well, let's do it. Right. And then that was kind of how the bug came in the mm -hmm. kind of like oh I mm -hmm. like doing this this mm -hmm. is fun mm -hmm. uh, yeah let's keep doing this and mm -hmm. then it slowly got more and more and then at the same time I was actually venturing into the dance world okay um, so you're a b-boy too not a b-boy I can't right, say I was right. a b-boy um, back in the time when like the toe op and the chicken noodle soup and all that stuff mm -hmm. was like big mm -hmm. um, I was one of those people that kind of was the forefront of pushing that like breakfast club all those little Clicks that were in Harlem at the time. I was a part oh. of one of the biggest ones. Okay. And uh, actually, you educated me. I didn't. I haven't heard of some of this. But yeah, yeah. you know, it's, right. it's pretty. It's like all the little yeah. trendy dances that were going on back okay. in like the late to the early two thousands. It's not Gadget. late. I it's, mean, all I, you know, I think of you know just Harlem Shake. You know? Yeah, Harlem. Sh yeah, exactly. <laughs> you had you had those guys, the Harlem right. Shakers, and right. that's those were the people I was around because that's where I was living. I mm -hmm. was in Harlem and. It was another thing to do, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of wanted to always stay active, and it nice. wasn't like, oh, I just want to stay active. So let me go and do this. And it's just like, no, this is, sounds cool. This is fun. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown was big at the time. It was mm -hmm. like, let me just let me get some dancing in, right. and um, that kind of led me into the dancing world okay. professionally. Okay. And that's kind of how I subsided into being able to get seen in film and television, mm. because I first did stage. Uh, I was with a contemporary company, uh, okay. Doug Elkins and Friends. 
Okay. And he picked me up from high school. He was actually a dance teacher at my school. Mm -hmm. And they had a huge dance studio there. And I would just go in there and just practice my tricking and then do my little Harlem shake and, you know, mm -hmm. all that fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Little cornball, whatever. Right, right. <laughs> While everybody's out there having fun during lunch, I'm in the studio just messing around, working mm -hmm. on my moves. Mm -hmm. And he was like, hey, you should come buy in to, my, to this little rehearsal Opportunity audition. Mm -hmm. He put me under his wing and, like, kind of helped me grow. He gave me the idea that sticks with me today is being a uh, army Swiss knife. Mm. You can be a knife, you mm -hmm. can be a screw, mm -hmm. you can be a cork opener, you can be a flashlight, mm -hmm. you can be all these things. And that's what you want to aim to be is have as many tools as you can so that way whenever somebody needs a certain thing, you have the tool for it. Proper. And so he, he built ready, me for that, ready. you know? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And uh, it was funny because I had uh, recently had done a Chris Brown music video. Mm. Uh, I went my first trip to Los Angeles when I was 18. Okay. I went by myself. It was supposed to be two weeks. Right. Two weeks. <laughs> that two weeks turned into two months. <laughs> uh-huh. And my mom was going crazy at the time. She was like, why are you not home yet? Right, right. And it was like, I just keep changing my flight. I kept pushing it back, pushing it uh. back. And my big cousin called me. He's like, hey, Chris is in town. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to possibly do this music video? He's having ninjas in it. And I was like, okay. well, yeah. Which one was that? I Can Transform You. Was okay. A music video. Okay. And the nunchuck sequence was me and him. Back to the nunchucks. Back to the nunchucks. It nunchucks. all comes in circle, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Love it. <laughs> um, so that led into more opportunity. He called me eventually, maybe like a year, year and a half later, and was like, hey, uh, I want you to do yet three times music video, but I mm -hmm. also really want to call you because I want you to be one of my dancers on tour. Nice. And I was like, I can't do mm -hmm. yet three times, but mm -hmm. I am definitely down to be one of your dancers. Just turns out that I'm moving to California anyway, so you don't mm -hmm. have to put me in a hotel. Wow. I just fly out and mm -hmm. boom. So we started doing that. Five guys living in a two bedroom apartment. Five guys. Mm -hmm. And one of them, a lot of people know, uh, Anish Sherfa. He's a big tricker. He was also uh, Rinsler in Tron. Oh, Legacy, okay. the movie. Oh, that's an awesome. Um, and Danny Graham, who is Raphael in the N New Ninja Turtles movie. Boom. So a lot of guys, yeah. like, we started, like, living together mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. small little place, mm -hmm. and now everybody's just doing amazing things. Right, right. And after a while, it was just, like, three years of dancing. Mm -hmm. um, I really was, my heart was like, I need to be doing what I came out here really to do. Mm -hmm. I came out here to become an action star. I came out here to do movies. Right. I want to do fight scenes. Right. This is what I got to do. And I sadly had to walk away from dancing mm. from Chris Brown and dancing in general. Mm -hmm. I did like maybe one lap. My, my last job as a dancer was Step Up Five. Okay. And after that, I was like, I, I'm no longer doing this. Mm. And I, you know, finally mm -hmm. was able to fully commit to it. And now I'm here. So comic books and movies. Uh. How did both of those come into your life? What were your favorite films that were influencing what you're into now? Who are your favorite superheroes, villains, etc.? Okay. This is a long list. I'll yeah, try let's, to make let's it short. Right, right. <laughs> keep, keep, keep it to the top of the top. All right. So yeah. movies were always big. My mom took me to movies every Friday. We mm -hmm. went to the movie. That was our thing. We nice. had a little ritual after school. She picked me up. Mm -hmm. Then we would go and watch mm -hmm. a movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say the first big superhero for me mm -hmm. was uh, Tim Burton's Batman. Nice. Um, he did kickboxing, it was so cool. Right. Like, it was just yeah. like, it's, yeah. yeah. And then um, after that, I would say then it was Blade. Oh, boom. You know, that We're was, good. that we was, yeah, that now. that's, that's it. it, that was it. Wesley, that was Wesley. yeah. <laughs> but comic books and movies have always been big. My mom worked at Sports Illustrated, so I was always around, like, reading material, magazines and cool. comics. So I, I always was pulling right. and always reading. Uh, my first favorite comic was Spider-Man. Mm. I mean, New Yorker. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. You, you yeah. Everybody can relate to, yeah, to yeah. Peter Parker yeah, yeah. in that sense, especially Absolutely. if you're from New York. Mm -hmm. And um, later on, I found out about Black Panther. Mm -hmm. It took me until I was about maybe 13, 14 to find out about Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And he was badass. Uh -huh. I was like, whoa. Right. You know? Like, right. this is this is cool. Real talk. And that's when I kind of ditched DC. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no offense to DC. No offense to DC. DC. I yeah, love yeah. DC. But it's all good. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> this is what I'm going to start collecting yeah. was Blade, mm -hmm. Black Panther, and Spider-Man. Those are my favorite. Tight. So, perfect, yeah, perfect. 
Joker's right. still the best villain ever. I'll give DC that. Yeah, Joker, yeah, it's, it's hard to top that. He just personifies villainy. Exactly. You know, in all the best and worst ways. You yes. Know? And that's what's amazing about right. it. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to segue with um, your mention of Spider-Man because the thing I think that everybody relates to about Spider-Man is that, you know, when he's in suit, irregardless of if, even when he's Peter Parker, you relate to him as just this guy with all these regular problems. Yes, you know, exactly. Who overcomes them and he's the underdog. Yep. And everybody can relate to that and love that. The part of him when he's suited up, though, mm -hmm. it's like he could be anybody. Yes. And everybody feels like that could be me. me. It's like when you're playing yeah. a video game and you, I, mean, I oh, am the yeah. character right now. Yes. You know, so I really like the statement that Chadwick Boseman made about Black Panther and big props to Chadwick. Performance, absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, he mentioned, you know, and I'm, I'm loosely quoting him, that he said, you know, I really want everyone's kids to love this character. I don't want to, you know, I, I'm happy that I know a lot of black kids are going to love this forever, but I want everybody to love this. Yeah. I really like that statement because to me it's like he knows the power of what this is going to be. It's exactly. like another Spider-Man. Yeah. You know, it can be anybody behind that suit. Oh, truth. So, the day you found out you were going to do principal stunts as Black Panther, <laughs> How was that? What, what was that feeling? Uh, it was like somebody took a bag of joy and punched me in the stomach with it. <laughs> you know, you get that like, right. gut feeling yeah. and it's just like, uh, and you just right. want, I just want, I actually literally just jumped out and screamed. <laughs> was like, yeah! Where, where, <laughs> <laughs> where were you? I was in my apartment. Uh, right. we, I was with James Young, who was the fight choreographer for uh, Winter Soldier at the time. Me and nice. him were driving. We were going to get some food, I think, mm -hmm. and that's when I got the phone call. And I literally was like, you got to stop the car. Stop the car. Stop the car. <laughs> right. <laughs> we had luckily having... just pulled out of yeah. the driveway, and right, I was like, right. I just was like, <laughs> 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 I almost turned Super Saiyan. It was pretty cool. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. But uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Awesome, man. And well deserved. I mean, thank you. When, um, you know, when I, when, I'll just tell this quick story, but how we met, you mm -hmm. know, in the sense that I've been doing acting for a little bit, mostly background, as I'm working my way up to doing the real, real thing. Yeah. And a good friend who literally was the reason I met you and a lot of good guys in stunts, props to Damien Poitier. Yes, Damien. Damien forever. <laughs> The first Thanos, yeah, you're going to always get the props, homie. Yep, always. But, always. But, yeah, man, you know, it's like we had been talking since we met in 2013 online. Mm -hmm. We was chatting it up and everything. And when he was here for doing Civil War for his part in that, part of Crossbones Gang and everything yep. in the Lego scene. If you haven't seen the movie, come on. It ain't no spoiler at this point. You got to go see the movie. But, sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, you know, that's when I met Damien. Mm -hmm. and, and then we were just hanging out on a weekend. And, like, you know, he says, uh, you know, yeah, uh, Guy is coming through. And he's mentioning all these guys. And I didn't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I'm thinking, oh, okay, cool. Some more folks I can meet. Yeah. And then, you know, by the time we were making our rounds around the city, we got to the comic book shop. Yep. Criminal Records over in Low Five. Yeah. And I'm like, he, I, I forget what I asked. I said something about Panther. Mm -hmm. And uh, Damon was like, oh yeah, that's Gee. And I was like, that's what? <laughs> like, like that that's dude right here right now. That's that's the homie. Like really? Like, yeah. You know, he's like, yeah, man, that's geek. Geek got pants. I was like, so I remember I gave you props. Like, dude, yeah. like you was just like, you know. And I love that you was real humble about it. I mean, you got all the saying out by then, so you yeah, good. I was all <laughs> done. I got all my yelling out. Right, I was right, right. Like, cool. You good now? But man, that's that's really awesome. Um, what was it like to wear the suit for the first time? Because, and I want to say this on camera, you know, from being on set and seeing the suits, like for instance, the Falcon suit. Yeah. When I saw Aaron. You know, suited up for Mackie, and when I saw Mackie, I mean, Mackie stood. Anthony Mackie is really cool. He is and super. By cool. the way, on camera, brother, you owe me an interview. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went to the I went to the Winter Soldier premiere here in Atlanta. Yeah. And you know, all, no pun intended, man. He was there answering questions though, so you know he's on the go. Yeah. And this is like, I asked him a candid question. I was like, yo, I told him what Honest Con was. I said, yo, can I get an interview? And he's like, done. And I'm like. All right, cool. So, like, after the interview, I'm trying to catch up with him. All these people hoarding him. Yep, you came again. I couldn't even him. get a second to him, so it's just like it blew in the wind. But on camera, homie, he's get probably at me. one of the coolest he's actors cool I've ever met. Oh, but he stood in front of us in the suit, man. It's just like the detail is incredible. Those things are really tactical. They're heavy. They're oh yeah. Hot. So, what did that feel like? What was it like in the suit? It was really hard to get into the first time. Mm. I must say, uh, it took. Four people, mm -hmm. I believe, to get me suited the first like two days, mm. uh, about thirty minutes to forty-five minutes to get in. Uh, it's like a five five pieces all together. Uh, the muscle suit was twenty-five pounds, so that was pretty heavy. Wow! And uh, it the suit kind of wasn't really made 
mm-hmm. off of my body. Mm-hmm. It was made for, for Chadwick. Chadwick. Right. So getting into the suit mm-hmm. itself was easy for him, but hard for me because we have kind yeah, of different, different bodies. Physique, yeah, yeah, exactly. I've seen Chadwick. He's, he might be maybe an inch over me. I'm like six one and a quarter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that. You know. And where I, are you like? I'm like five eleven. Yeah, and I know they had that rule. Um, I remember Aaron told me so. I interviewed him, and he said, "What's the rule with stunt?" It's like within an inch and a half to, exactly. to, to yeah, it's weird. So if you want to do it, you can. It's okay. You can. <laughs> you, you can, believe me, if right. you're good enough, it doesn't matter. Because right. of your movement, it's anyway. It's all about that. So um, we, uh, we, we got me in, mm-hmm. and I didn't have to wear the helmet yet. And they okay. were just doing scenes and me off cam- with me off camera as an eye line. Mm. And the time it really hit wasn't the first day. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the second day. Mm-hmm. It was probably the second weekend. Nice. The second week in was when we had the standoff. At the, the airport. The airport standoff. Yeah. And having the airport standoff is what really hits home. Because mm-hmm. you're there, you're in the costume. It's mm-hmm. like, cool, I'm in the costume. This mm-hmm. is cool. Yeah, I can't see anything, but we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it is hard to see. It, it is hard to see. Um, I mean, what the eyes? Are they like plastic or glass? They were like um, a tin, like a metal like oh, a kind so of that high. Is real. It's yeah, like, and it, it they had like like holes punched in, holes and, it, and they could take wow. it out, which they did for mm. for certain things. Right, right. But right. for this shot, they didn't, and we're all standing around, and you see first you see Team Cap walk by. Uh huh. You see Falcon. You see yeah. Scarlet Witch. You see yeah. Hawkeye. You see Cap. You, right. see, you you see Bucky, mm. and I'm just looking at them like holy cow, mm. and then boom, like, Spider Man pops up. <laughs> War Machine pops up. I'm, Iron Man. I'm in a comic now. And we're all, <laughs> and we all literally are standing like mm-hmm. this, apart from each other. Mm-hmm. And we literally, like, you know what? Let's just walk to each other. We just walked, <laughs> and every, and that was the day. Like, I start tearing. Oh, it damn. was like this is like beautiful. Yeah, this is yeah, it. You, you know did it. that yes. feeling. Yes. And this, and I'm doing it with my friends. Right. You know. Right. And it was probably one of the most beautiful. Awesome. I, it's hard to really put it into words because mm-hmm. I'm not really good at explaining yeah, it in words, you, it. you know. But yeah. that feeling, right. and that's that. Yeah, that's that's that, awesome. Yeah, that, that's that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was the most fun and the most dangerous stunt you did during Civil War as Panther? Okay, first one is fun. First one is fun. First was the fighting, kicking uh, Bucky oh, with right. the double hook kick. Oh, the fa- that kick. Yeah, that kick. The- <laughs> that kick was, I had a lot of fun doing that. Have you have you seen all the memes? Yes. Did, did you see the one that they used from um, from Chappelle show? Yes. Then, <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay, continue. Yes. Um, that that yeah. and the I don't want to give it away. The triple kick. The triple that, kick. The the back kick, front kick, back kick that he does mm. the cap to mm. the shield. That was fun because the the development of the move. Um, it started with me in a in a heavy bag inside the gym, and I was trying to just do back kick, spin back kick, and in, in one one jump. Mm. And I was getting it. Nice. And they're like, "Okay, cool. We're gonna put you on wires." And I was like, "I don't want to do it on wires." He's like, "You're gonna want to do it on wires if you do it 15 times." <laughs> they're like, "You're right. Yeah, I'm right. gonna do it on wires." I'm gonna get tired of saying, "Yeah." Right. So uh, we did it, and that was like the coolest thing ever because it was something that I was literally envisioning and imagining and trying to do it myself. Mm. And with the help of movie magic, I was mm-hmm. able to do. And, and for those who, you know, I mean, you would think most people would know, but when you say wires, explain, you know, you're talking about there's literally a cable typically on your back, back. for a scene like yeah, that. Yeah. It, it was actually a little bit, it was like one wire on my hip, one wire on my other hip, and mm. they were crossing so that way it helped me turn. Mm. And then they had another two wires holding me up. And it was just like, all right, cool, you know. Or, or so that was pretty. It was, it was human marionette moment. Exactly, yeah, was, I was a puppet. There are wow. no strings on me, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the most dangerous stunt was is a collective of stunts. It was mm. the whole chase scene. I mm. think was very dangerous. Mm, with all the cars. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan of heights. Okay. I'm never f- afraid to say I'm not a fan of heights. There are people that are good with heights, mm-hmm. and. As long as I don't have to look, right? If I if it's just like go, then I go. Uh-huh. But if you have me sit up there for like, five minutes and I get a chance to <laughs> rethink what I'm going to do, <laughs> don't let, don't give me that opportunity. <laughs> but um, there right. was the jump down the side of the ICC building, I mm. believe it was in Germany, mm. and um, a couple times there was some hiccups during rehearsals. 
Uh, I sh I tore my favorite pants. Uh, they got burned by the by the wire, getting wrapped up in the wire, getting slammed into stuff. All because of you know like little things you have to figure out, mm -hmm. and it was mainly my fault because mm -hmm. I just have to do it right. Right. right and right. Um, that was like the first like. <sighs> yeah, like whoa. And then the most I think the scariest one. The most dangerous would be the the chase sequence in the tunnel because mm -hmm. we were on what's called a magic carpet mm -hmm. and the magic carpet is a rug that is rubber mm -hmm. that's about this thick mm -hmm. and it is pretty much like on from 90 meters to 100 meters long mm -hmm. and it's being pulled by a car and the car pulls at certain speed and we worked up to it we did like oh five miles an hour 10 mm -hmm. miles an hour mm -hmm. let's do 15 all right let's mm -hmm. do 20 Mm -hmm. Okay, on the day, let's do 40 miles an hour. Whoa. And when you look at it, it's amazing. Right, like, right, right. Yeah. I feel cool once I'm right. no longer scared. <laughs> but <laughs> but it all it takes, really, because with all the traffic, uh -huh. is me going off the wrong way or getting tripped up. Wow. The moment I can't stop on that until I get to the end. And if I do mm -hmm. stop, I really have to hit the deck, mm. you know? And there was a car transfer that we had to do from once one car to the back of the SUV. Wow. And I remember one time me slipping on my step trying to get up, and I literally almost fell into the street between oh, the, the truck and the car. Yeah. And luckily there was a stunt double, Adrian Hine, um, who was doubling cap for that scene. Mm -hmm. He grabbed me so fast. He grabbed me so fast. Dude. But I didn't have a helmet on. Oh, I didn't man. have, I was like, because at the time, Everybody had been doing it, mm -hmm. and I realized that everybody who was doing it better than me was not wearing stuff. Mm. And I was like, well, maybe if I don't have stuff on, I'll be all right. <laughs> I was all right. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, that was, I would say, the dangerous stunt, most dangerous stunt. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I think that goes that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, <laughs> you know, man, and, and that leads me to say, you know, it's funny, when I'm on set and I've seen folks doing stunts, and... You know, I'm, I'm serious about this. You know, as yeah. an artist, I'm serious about anything I do. And so it's funny to hear other folks, if I'm doing background talking stuff and saying, oh, you know, I, I want to do stunts. I wanna, and I'm just, I'll be like, I look at them sideways like, I just laugh. Oh, yeah. Because I know who's real and who's not. You know, and it's like anything else that's dangerous like that. Oh, yeah. And you so, get those questions. You get that all the time. Yeah. Like, especially when you're on set and they see a stunt guy. Right. Like when I was, when we were doing the Lago scene mm -hmm. and I was getting ready to step in for my friend uh, mm -hmm. to do the running. And they're like, a bunch of people were like, oh, I could do stunts. I was like, cool. This mm -hmm. is what you want to do stunts for real? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you exactly how you do it. Break it down. Go to, go to your front lawn. Mm -hmm. Roll to your back. Just roll to it. Mm -hmm. See, get to the flat of it. All right. Now start a little bit higher and then drop to your back. Just drop, go fall, mm. right? I'm like, cool, how does that feel? Mm. Ask yourself that question. Mm. Now, can you do that 15 times? Right. And that's literally what makes a stunt person. It's not the fact of being able to do it. Because, yeah, anybody can do mm -hmm. something once. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of doing it the third, the fifth, right. the seventh time, right. need be. Because sometimes it's not you. It might be mm -hmm. that the actor mm -hmm. might have wanted to do something different that he didn't want to do, yeah. or it might be the camera guy didn't capture it well, oh, yeah. or they just really like watching you do it. Yeah, right, and right. so they want right, you to do right, it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get, sure. you get the wrong director, man. You be there all day. Exactly. Yeah. And you're doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. And that's, I think, is the most rewarding feeling to me about instunts is not the fact of doing it, it's the fact that I can get back up and do it again. Mm. You know, that feeling of like, I just, yeah, mm -hmm. I hit my, are you good? Mm -hmm. I'm good, I'm yeah, ready to yeah, go yeah. again. <laughs> Let's do it again and wow. again and again. Yeah. And that's from constant training, you know. Nice. What do you have coming yeah. up that you can mention? Mm. You I mean, you're rocking the hat, I mentioned. I'm rocking the hat, yeah. we, we, we're, we're talking Guardians about of the Galaxy Guardians, the, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Mm -hmm. James Gunn is amazing. Can they see it on that side? I don't no, know. no, 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 yeah, I think yeah. it's just yeah. on this side. Damn. Yeah. Um, that's that's all I can give you guys. That's all we can get. But there's, a, there's, there's some other stuff in okay. the works right now. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you say anything about, like, what you were in that, or? Um, I'm a character. Just a character. Okay, cool. <laughs> any, any lines, or? Uh, to an, so, it's, so it's, it kind of you'll, you'll see it's, it's cool. pretty fun it's very gonna be cool. pretty fun okay yeah right right hopefully you guys will notice me it'll be hard to but <laughs> hopefully <you'll notice> me. <laughs> <laughs> so for all you do man just wanted to on camera give you a couple of gifts one I is did. stack of comics courtesy of one of our sponsors criminal records right here in low five points wow. the place we hung out that yeah day. got some watson and holmes up in there 
That's some DC, oh. Mortal Kombat, we was talking about that. Dark you know, Horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sir, some, other, some indie okay. stuff, some Marvel, you know. Yeah, yeah. And this here, you haven't seen that? No. It's really cool. And matter of fact, they got a page in there with Panther, so you'll love that. Tight. Yes, sir. Wow. And the other thing, so you rocking proper, I hope I got you right, so you about an extra large? Maybe. Damn, you call me fat? No, dude, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot whether that, last time I saw you, I mean, maybe it was just I a was, muscle. I was like 200 pounds, yeah. Yeah, you know, so I was thinking that, but anyway. Boom. Dude, perfect. Yes, Thank and you so much. And that's courtesy of Lazy Nerds Designs. Honest yes, sir. On its kind. No doubt, man. Thank you so much, appreciate brother. Appreciate you, brother. I really appreciate no it. Doubt. You, you've done, this is a lot as You're it is. You're more than welcome, huh? I really, yeah. Right. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Thank you, man. I appreciate it. On its kind. Hell yeah, on its kind. Key to silver.